This is the new lightweight gilet. Um, there's a favourite track of mine from the, from the early days of house music by Backroom Productions called Definition of a Track. Um, and A, it's a fantastic early house tune, but every time I hear it, I think, what a great philosophy. There's your, your definition of a thing. And this is our definition of a lightweight gilet. Um, we did a lot of development work on this and thought long and hard about what a lightweight gilet should be. And really my realization on this was for a lightweight gilet, it should be able to work over the widest possible range of temperatures. So you should be able to wear it in uh, summer rain if it's a cool summer day, in the same way that you should be able to wear it over a thicker winter shell if you want to get some, some windproofing. Um, and so that led to the design and the construction of it. It's collarless because if you're wearing it in warmer conditions, it doesn't make you so hot around the neck with a, with a high collar. Um, whereas if you're wearing it in cooler conditions, you're wearing it 99.999% of the time over a garment which is already going to have a high collar. So this is why it's got this, this cutaway dropped neckline. And then the other part of that clearly is the fabric has to be extremely versatile. It has to be able to work in warm conditions, warmer conditions, and also has to be, well, be able to work in cooler conditions. So the fabric is developed, the same base fabric that we used for the Ultra Jacket. And this is a single layer woven stretch fabric. Uh, and it comes from the Italian mill we work with, which has this unique way of approaching DWR. And how this Italian one approaches it is they use a DWR on the yarn. They then weave the fabric, shrink it down, so it becomes a very, very closely woven fabric that makes it essentially windproof, and then apply another layer of DWR, or another application of DWR. And by having this yarn-based application of DWR and uh, a woven application of DWR and this very shrunken, tight construction to the fabric, it gives you a windproof, very water-resistant fabric uh, without a membrane. So it's extremely breathable. Um, and even the most breathable membrane garments, you still get that sense of needing to build up a vapor pressure before the membrane works properly and you don't get that at all with this fabric. And then the third moving part of the fabric is, the issue with DWR is it's not terribly durable. Um, so in this case, the, the fabric uses a laser etched yarn and the laser etching on the yarn puts a slight texture on the yarn and that makes the DWR grippier onto it essentially. So it, it is more durable. So we have a lightweight shell that is very shower resistant very, very shower resistant. It'll deal with, with light to medium rain. It's windproof, but it's extremely breathable. So it gives you this usability over a wide range of temperatures. So you can wear this in summer rain through to, this is the shell garment I wear if I'm doing my winter sessions. And I know I can just take it off and tuck it into my waistband because it's, such, it's so lightweight and so thin. And my philosophy with all running garments is if you can take away excess fabric and retain comfort and functionality, then do so. Um, so it's quite close fitted, it's a neat fit. The, the four panel construction allows a nice wrap around the body. And then the back panel is just a very light, woven, plain face fabric, which gives you some ventilation on the back. So in all the research we did for developing this fabric for the Ultra Jacket and for this garment, and then for the, for the new membrane garment we've got coming this autumn winter, I really concluded there's absolutely no point in wearing a membrane, however light a membrane shell garment in summer wet weather conditions. However good the fabric is, however good the membrane fabric is, it just cannot cope with the body heat generated in running combined with the ambient temperature. So, this is by far the best solution to you know, drizzle damp wet weather in, in summer where you just need a little bit more protection or it's a slightly chillier summer morning while still being super effective in winter when you want an outer bit of outer wind protection or a bit of outer wet weather protection. So really this is our definition of a lightweight gilet.